I'll take the camera off now and you can have a little look round. Right, okay, I'm going to start at the back actually because this back area is where I've got some um, some big standards. Now remember this, this is a Vectis Snow, that is over a metre tall now. Vectis Snow, it's a giant. Um, I've just started forming the head, I've let the head split, if you can have a look in there. The head has split nicely. I have stopped it from blooming primarily because I want it, at this time of year, of course, I want things to concentrate on development. Uh, my giant Lara, oh gosh, I forgot what one it is now. Is it Lara Andre or Lara Regina, one of the two? Um, I repotted that. You can see I got that into a really big pot. Um, and that is so happy in that corner. I've left it there. Uh, I've got some other tall Stellas. I will let the, these are all Steve Pollard's, well, I say they're all, a lot of them are. That one, I'm going to let that bloom. I, I, I'm letting one flower go on a lot of these now, just to see what the blooms look like. Got a regal there, that's on a stem of about 30 centimetres or so. That was Nicola Buck, you may remember that one. It was in a different position, uh, but that, that's grown very well. Uh, got some of my other just base standard regals here. Uh, our two Stellas. Now, I really don't know what to do with these. I, I did give them a little bit of a stop. These are our Robin Louises. These are about three years old now. Um, I don't know whether to repot. They, they always, they just seem so happy uh, in being in what they're in, in the compost that they're in. And I just don't know whether cutting that root ball back now will do them more harm than good. They're in a seven inch pot. I keep feeding them well and they are responding. That's the better one. That one's got a bit of a quirky stem, this other one. Uh, but, they, you know, they, they, they grow so strongly, even though they haven't been repotted in a couple of years. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, whether I'm going to repot them or not. Can't decide. Uh, over here, more Stellas. This is the dark corner, which I've already spoken about. Uh, this is Burns Country. The head is just nicely developing in that. I probably just need to tie it into the stick just to straighten it marginally. But I've uh, got lots of regals, lots of potted regals. Diana Westwood, that's getting on. That's... Oh, 50, 60 centimetres tall now. It's doing very well. I'm just letting the head begin to develop on that. I'm quite happy with that. That's my old, that's one of my own Gosbrook Firecracker. Oh, a couple of knackered leaves, but I repotted that. But all the new growth now is really beginning to come through. So that's doing all right. Uh, Willow Brook, that's a nice dwarf. One of them overpotted and mar I might have marginally over overwatered, but I think it's fine now. Uh, the other one certainly in the corner is doing brilliantly. I'm letting that just sort of develop at its own pace. Uh, this is a Steve Pollard seedling, uh, Formosum, short sort of standard. Uh, but that's got the spots and splashes, uh, one or two little reversions going on there, but... Um, it's quite an attractive bloom, very upright uh, head. I quite, I do quite like that actually, uh, on a Formosum. Lots of regals, little standard regals that are beginning to uh, develop. On the top shelf here, I've got one or two others, sorry to whisk about. Uh, this is our Harvest Moon, another regal, which I've developed quite nicely as a uh, standard. These have all been potted up now and repotted. I've got a few, what I would call show plants that are up here. Uh, all repotted, as well as some of my youngsters. They've all been repotted. That's Regina. Uh, so that other one that we saw, this is another sort of standard zone Arctic. So that's Regina. So the other one over there that we just saw, that must be Andre. <laughs> uh, lovely big blue. I do love the blue on that one. I like the sort of pastel colours. So this is another one that I've got. Very thin stem, but uh, growing on quite well. All of these 
will be moving over to the other side. Um, these are all show plants that have all been repotted and ready to go. I mean, I've let this one bloom. I mean, it's just, there's, there's only so much you can do to keep control of some of these, but um, my Shrivenham stars have been uh, repotted here. They're doing okay. I've grown two, one, two as uh, to grow on as Floribundas. Um, they do okay and I've got two to grow on as dwarfs. Right, this is a uh, commercial variety, one of the cell ones, cell group. Cell Cambalo, Sembalo, something along those lines. Excuse my pronunciation. Lovely red bloom though, it's the first time I've ever really looked at this bloom. Um, does very well, it is grown. I'm just beginning to develop the head on this, as you can see. Uh, the head is really growing nicely. That's, yeah, I mean, it's not uh, it's not far off a metre at all. It's, uh, it's in a six-inch pot, doing very well. This is a Steve Pollard seedling, nice tricolour Stella. Uh, that's about 50 centimetres tall now. That's doing okay. And over here, we've got the Adenjo couple of Adenjo varieties, the Tinto Mara, I think it's called, uh, without looking at the label. Um, but these are a metre tall now, and I'm just again developing the heads on these. Uh, there's a Vivienne there, the head on that is developing quite well. Got another Vivienne here. Um, now, I haven't spoken about buys and tries too much in this video, but autumn, of course, is what I call the prime time for tricolours. You really do get the fantastic colours coming through. This is one called Helen Bainbridge, named after the proprietor of Fir Trees Nursery, uh, based up, they were based up in the northeast. Um, they finished in the same year that I did actually, back in 2014. Uh, but um, that was they out there, but yeah, lovely tricolour, really starting to come into now the really lovely colour time for tricolours. Autumn is always the best time because you're losing some strength in the sun so they're not getting bleached. Uh, and yeah, it, they are really starting to look good. Much like um, that tricolour Stella there, which is a seedling. I've got another one of those over here, but you're really beginning to see the lovely colours coming through on that now as we go into the autumn period. Now here, just as a footnote to the standards, uh, is the giant one that we've been developing. This you may remember in one of my last videos, I cut back the two main header stems and the third stem is growing out and is beginning to balance off. Uh, so you may see we're beginning to get that rounding of the head, which is exactly what we're wanting to see. Uh, I've got another huge stand, stellar standard growing up here, which is a metre and a half. This must be, well, it's a good metre and a half tall, this in its entirety. Uh, so yeah, it's doing really well. I'm very pleased with how they're going. Now, something that you may notice is a gap. And I've got the guilty version over here as well. I have actually made the decision that I am not going to continue with trying to train these bicolour Mr. Wrens. And the reason I'm not is because they just refuse to break further down when you stop them. So I'm actually getting rid of them. And what I've got, I've got a couple of youngsters here that I'm going to grow on as standards, see how they grow as standards. I think as a standard, they do well because you can develop the fresh head. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do with those. Right now here, this is Sophie Dumeresque. Uh, and this is huge. And now this had a dominant, a really sort of, I was beginning to split. Uh, as you can see here, I was beginning to split the head. You've got a, a side shoot there. So you've got a three pronged attack, I suppose you'd call it. But this tall one, I've stopped now because I want a bit more energy to go into these side shoots. Uh, I've let it bloom just from what the 
point of interest really. Uh, I've potted it on into a 12 inch pot. It's got huge, again, it's a meter and a half tall. Brilliant for, for me as a tall person to work on. But um, that's what you need to do. If you've got one dominant stem when you're trying to train your head, keep that dominant stem stopped and it'll encourage the others to grow out. That's what we did, of course, with this big one here. And that's exactly what I'm doing now with this what this uh, Sophie Dumares. So that's the thing to note. And I've done exactly the same with this one. This was this lovely uh, single zonal, which I've taken the blooms off now. But again, I've got a slightly dominant main stem out of the three. Uh, there is another one just beginning to tri Oh no, it's down there. I've missed the point. Uh, there it is. You've got three good stems beginning to break out. But keep the main one now stopped. And that's what I've done. I've just stopped that. I've stopped it once, which you may be able to see down in there. And it needs stopping again, actually. There's another break that's gone on it. So that head is fine. That's all developing exactly as, uh, as I would wish. We've got our whip. Remember, we're going to try and do a graft at some point with a regal onto uh, this sort of unique type. But that's going to have to wait until next year. But this whip is growing very fast. It's not quite as tall as I wanted to get. So we'll probably wait until next year. That's fine. That's uh, developing exactly as I want it to. We've got another one, we've got another tall standard here. Again, these are all seedlings, I think, of Steve Pollard. Need to discover the label. No, that's Ellen Ross, actually. Sorry, I do apologize. That's, uh, I think, popular in Sweden. Uh, I will give this a stop, I think, because that is just developing a side shoot there, and it's developing a side shoot on the other side as well. And I will now give this a stop there. It's just opening into a V on the main stem. So I will just nick that middle point out. And that will encourage these two side shoots to break through, which is exactly what we're wanting to do to start forming a head. So it's an easy thing to do. I'll just do that in a moment. I don't need to show you that. It's quite there. All I'm going to do is just nick out the middle part to enable that to develop side shoots. And then these two little lower side stems that are developing to push out to start to form the head. That's how it works. Uh, now over the back there, we've got a Phyllis. Uh, my Phyllis is growing exactly as I wanted to. That's a metre, uh, a metre and a half. No, it's half a good... That's 60 centimetres tall now, so that's doing very well. As I've said, I've always wanted to try another one of these after a very successful attempt about 10 years ago to grow one. Uh, when I had the nursery, I wanted to do another one. Uh, by colour, uh, this is spit variety, which is a cactus variety. Uh, that's growing quite well. It's been fairly slow. I've had this all summer and it's quite slow growing. It's got a good bicolour leaf to it. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that one. But that's growing up. I will probably start to develop the head on that. As I say, we're, we're getting to a stage where we haven't got a great deal of time now in the Northern Hemisphere. So just a question of sort of waiting to see how it goes. Uh, potted on, that's one of my dwarfs. That's a single white. Uh, and I've got several others. As I say, I've got, you know, a lot of my plants, this is the lighter side, which I've described in the past. And this is where all my exhibition plants are going to go eventually. Right, here's another huge, great tall one. I haven't actually seen the bloom on it. It is a Steve Pollard seedling. Looks like it's going to be whitish. Uh, but I've done a stop on that now on the main stem. Uh, there's the side stem growing out from the base where I'm forming the head. And I've got another one looking there, which is forming the tri-axis forming of the head. That's how you need to do it, as I've explained in the past. So I've nipped the 
I've knit that one out to give it a stop to give more strength to the growing of these other side shoots. That's exactly how you go about forming the head. Got some slightly lower ones here. That, uh, I'm trying to think now, that's prim, a bit lower. This is a Steve Pollard seedling. That's growing up. That's quite, that's over a metre tall now because that's a metre stick. So the bloom there I've let him develop because I actually want to see some of these blooms because I've never actually seen some of them. Well, I've never ever seen most of them actually. Uh, this is Osborne, I think. This is not a Steve Pollard seed. Yeah, this is Osborne. I really like this one. But again, over a metre tall. I'm wanting the head to develop on that. But you can see if we look in here, how the head will form. I've got the two little side shoots. And once that breaks, I've got a bloom, which you always get on the second split. Uh, I, will I will nick that out once that begins to break there again uh, to enable these two lower side shoots to develop in much the same way that this one next to it has. Uh, so that's how it goes. I will certainly de go to develop the head on that now. And then talking of tall ones, we've got a, yet another one here. This is, this is Charme Ward. This has grown very tall. This is a meter and a half. Uh, and I will probably let the head develop on that. It's a lovely pink variety. I do like that one. And there we are. We're back. That's a little look around the glass house. We've got a couple of others, actually, a couple of other taller um standards which again this is all part and parcel of my reorganization uh the back and the cooler and the darker side will have all my standards in it and that's how my greenhouse is going to be organized in the autumn okay well i hope you've uh, enjoyed that you know little look round um a little bit of a catch-up today more than anything uh, we're on holiday in a couple of weeks' time, um, but I'll get another video done certainly before we go away. So I'll hopefully see you again next week. In the meantime, enjoy yourselves. See you again soon.